Carry that Leela Davis with again, she was vivacious, coy at the same time, had that, that, that showbiz savvy in such a young woman. And, and that was the first that. time you'd ever talked to a woman. <laughs> oh, Lord. Who is better looking though? Me or the My vanity. Oh, oh, you are. Thank you. Thank you. My hair. We have, and I, I have to get back on, we have Janet Stern. Uh, for those, she's been on the movie conversationalist show, Fistful of Popcorn, for the past how many years? Uh, 60. How many movies do you think you reviewed roughly during that time? Mm, about 157 or 8. And I did, I did Dane, I, did wa I do watch Fistful of Popcorn. Um, if you're really into movies, i got to admit, it's somewhat intellectual. They go into depth. Some of the people look like they came from the board. Yeah, intellectual means they use uh, two syllable words. Right. <laughs> but since I'm into movies, I get into it, though. But you said you're not really reviewing, you're talking about We're discussing movies. Them, you're discussing yeah. movies. Mm -hmm. And you come every year to discuss the Oscars. Mm -hmm. And uh, first of all, you want to discuss Something about the historical accuracy in some of the uh, well, pictures. Well, what I wanted to say was that there are certain films up this year, Zero Dark Thirty, Lincoln, Argo, to come to mind, where people have questioned the historical accuracy of them, and so the movie's reputations have kind of faltered when those things are pointed you mean out. In the box office, or just the critical Critics, reviews? and then the box office, there's just a sort of a decline in the buzz and that kind of thing. Well, let's go into specifics. Well, okay, I'm going to give you a in Zero Dark Thirty, for example, which is causing a lot of controversy, um, it's. Have you seen it? Yeah. Okay. It's. I, I never heard of it. Okay. okay. Well, anyway, it's Jessica about the search Jessica. for uh, and capture of Osama. Oh, that one. It starts out very cleverly with a blank screen and just the real voices coming from the Trade Center, from the World Trade I'm Center. Guessing during the bombing. It's haunting and striking. It's very, and what but the effect of that on the viewer is to make you think, because that's real, the effect is to make you think that everything that follows is going to be real. There's a slippery slope there. You're right, right there. It always goes in your subconscious. You accept the yeah. first thing that hits you in the face. Exactly. And then your subconscious works in that direction. Right. And, and so when you start to see the scenes of torture, you begin to think that, in fact, torture played a role in finding out where Osama bin Laden was by these very dogged CIA, well, especially right. one. But there's been a tremendous amount of controversy about whether actually information was gathered through torture. And so the filmmakers who say this is based on first-hand accounts have had to defend their point of view. Now, in Argo, which is about the, the, uh, Argo. Cap the release of six the, the, you know, six, well, I forget what they call it, but anyway, six cap, six American, Americans who were holed up in the Canadian Embassy. During the Iranian during Revolution, the Iranian, 79, right, 80. Um, a lot of what happened to them is horrific, but a lot wasn't. And Ben Affleck, the director of that film, and I must say, it is an incredibly enjoyable, did you see that? Yes, I enjoyed it. Incredibly enjoyable. I've always thought Ben Affleck was a great I mean, it's too. a great movie. 